morning all. You find me on my way to work. It's Wednesday morning and um, hey, it's not too cold, what is it? Let's have a look. Ambient temperature, 8 degrees. Can't be bad. It's better than that 5.5 the other night. So, some of you may be wondering where I've been for the last few months. Um, I've been really busy with other ventures, um, which I shall go into on another video. Um, but I've been busy basically most weekends this year. Uh, so with the new venture, all will be revealed. Um, and some of the eagle-eyed of you may notice I've got a new bike. Um, I traded in the old RT and, uh, for this beautiful GS. Um, let's have a look. Last weekend, I think it was. And I have to say, I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with it. Really am. Beautiful machine. Uh, lovely and comfy. Oodles of power and oodles of fun as well. So, very happy indeed with my, my deal. Uh, all thanks to the guys over at Barnstormer in Alton. Andy, Alistair and uh, Paul and the rest of the team over there. Really good bunch of people. Uh, and I have to say, they really do understand the meaning of customer service. So, if you're interested in the BMW and you live in the south, um, give them a call. You'll always be greeted with a smile and a cup of coffee, or tea, and biscuits to boot. So yeah, um, Barnstormer Alton, just over near Winchester. So, first thoughts on this wonderful GS. I love it, really do. Um, really am chuffed to bits with it, so comfortable. I mean, you see all the hype, or, or what is perceived to be hype, on the... Um, uh, YouTube and in the press and I can really see what they're on about. I mean I've ridden GS's before but for not long periods of time uh, and um, morning um, not really get, got to know it personally shall we say um, it's only when you actually ride one for a, a decent length of time you, you understand it um, it's just perfectly balanced, it's very nimble, um, very very easy to move around, when you're pushing it, great turn in circle, you name it, it's got it, uh, I think it has to be the world's number one all round bike, um, yeah, absolutely shaft the bits. I mean the only thing what's missing from it, on the bike compared to the RT is a heated seat but to be honest with you when you got your your textiles on and your base layers you, you don't really need it um, the RT had heated seats the Tiger I had before that had heated seats and, and, and yeah they're nice I mean you do get a hot bum um, very quickly but have I missed them so far in the depths of winter no it's got heated grips which keep your hands nice and toasty two settings, nuclear and tropical. Um, nuclear can get a bit warm, so you just drop it down to tropical and it's just right. So, what else is new? Ah, oh, yes, GoPro 5. Ever since I've had the camera, I've had issues with it uh, recording audio with an external mic, which, shall we say, can leave you a little bit fed up and frustrated and uh, since I've had it, which has been a couple of years now, I've done so much research trying to find out what's going on with this blinking thing, to the point where I thought, sod it, I'm going to buy a new camera. But um, the other day I was scrolling through YouTube and um, discovered a guy in India called V Diaries who came up with a very, very good solution. Um, with the GoPro, it's got something called Quick Start, which basically means whilst the camera's in its off position, you can hit the action button or the record button, whatever you want to call it, and it'll automatically start recording. It'll record video fine, but it's a bit hit and miss for the audio. 
So if you're having issues with an external mic, uh, try that. Go into settings, switch off quick start, and just start recording the normal way by powering the GoPro on, pressing the record button, um, or using the GoPro remote, which could be fitted to your bars, or on your wrist, whatever you want to call it. Um, when you finish recording, press the record button again to stop recording, and if you want to conserve your battery, switch the GoPro off. So far, it seems to have worked perfectly. Uh, the proof will be in the pudding, because if you're seeing this video and you're hearing my voice, you know it's worked. So, what a lovely, lovely morning. There goes Gert on his green and black mean machine. Reasonably new to motorcycling as our Gertz, and I definitely think he's caught the bug. And fair play to him. Right, so that ends my little video for this morning. So um, it's good to be back. Thanks for coming along and watching. Um, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. Because um, it's always great to welcome new subscribers. I've got a feeling the next 12 months I'll be doing a lot of videos. So stay tuned and uh, thanks again and see you soon.